Transport is central to unlocking growth and transformative to local economies. The Transport Knowledge Hub provides tools and information to help make infrastructure investments that will facilitate inclusive and sustainable economic growth. We're not here to just be a system for us. We talk what we are doing as an industry to transform the and transform the economy by doing so. Both what we have done and what we are doing is the Great Lord Rail Project, which is already transforming journeys across the north. There's 9,000 jobs on our head. And we also see. 900 new vehicles, new transit, coming to the North End. So, the first piece is I think technology is going to change passengers' expectations, and has already changed, has changed people's expectations. I think as an industry, we're in a little bit of catch up, but please just say that we are catch up quite quickly. So, I believe one thing technology is going to do is remove some traditional barriers to public transport. It is scary to use the bus, it is an easy choice, it can be intimidating. I think technology can open that and give people access. Same with journey planning apps, they're developed passively, and I think that helps remove the barrier. Uh, on the 1st of April, we will become the first national transport body, uh, and that is a significant change because it allows the north to have both uh, all over the and the environment. I think we have one voice in terms of infrastructure is required. Uh, to grow the economy. And the work of the Independent Economic Review said that actually, if we get this right over the next 30 years, then we can generate about 100 billion pounds of economic activity and 850,000 jobs that would have arrived in existence. So, so growth transport for the population is now bigger than it ever has been. I'm kind of just telling people that at the moment because actually it's really important. And the fact that we've turned the corner to the extent that we have is is remarkable. It, it says some important things about what's happening in the economy and in society. And technology is both uh, shape us to a degree, I think, but I think we can also accept that technology will adapt and respond to that as well. And we've got to, we've got to think, about, think about all of that. The good thing is, and the psychology of it is, that we want to get young people on bus at the first opportunity and keep them on bus. And what keeps young people on bus is things like Wi Fi. It's things like CCTV. Transport is many different things to many different people, and we have to reflect on some of the communities that Nexus serves. And if new technologies and the new services which come with them eat away at the fare box of established transport systems, those services become less viable and can begin to fall away because there might not be the transport, and the transport system may not be there to provide the service of which some people can afford. Because I think a lot of the talk around technology, we're often thinking about the kind of the next five, ten years, and actually for many people, it's about today. And I think it's really important to capture the kind of young person market, which is still a theme coming out here. Because it's, it's the people who are 16, 17, 20 in the bus now, who want to kind of make sure they stay using the bus when they're 19, 20, 21. Um, and I can stay with it, therefore. And I think making sure that the bus is actually a taxi offer is really important. And I think you often talk about rail at these events, and it's great to hear something about this piece today. Customers, uh, we, we found you know, in an emerging picture that they use the data and uh, how they use planning tools, how they use the you know, planning system is getting to the point where they actually don't need more of a second hand table anymore. So customers turn up at the point of travel and they can make sure they're serving them. I think at the last one, I think technology really has been in play a significant part. Um, we need to be able to get customers to you know, plan their journey in such a way that how they then integrate various modes of transport together and get to their destination at the point where we can actually tell them to arrive with us once we get one at the point in time. Today was really useful because we had lots of different interested parties. And by bringing all those people together, which I guess is the real purpose of the Transport Knowledge Hub, you really start to get the market of these different.